understanding the nature of prayer. That's our devotional for this week. You know, for us to understand the nature of prayer, we must first understand man's nature. From birth, we've been learning the rules of self-reliance as we strain and struggle to achieve self-sufficiency. It's not natural for us. In fact, to people who are in the fast lane, people who are determined to make it on their own, prayer is an embarrassing interruption. So what is it that moves us in such a way to pray? The answer to that is all about God's infinite nature. You see, we pray because by either by intuition or intuition or experience, we understand that the, the most intimate communion with God comes only through prayer. See, somewhere in the back of our minds, we recognize that God is the one who can do something, so we go to him in prayer. Of course, it's that notion in us that's been placed there by the Creator. And by going to God in prayer, we're actually recognizing the ability of God to respond to our needs and the ability that he has to meet our needs. You see, God is a living God who hears and answers prayer. God is omniscient, all-knowing. He's limitless. He knows all things. He has infinite wisdom. And then God is omnipotent, all-powerful. He has an infinite, limitless power. Add to that the fact that God is a God of infinite grace and mercy, a God who answers the prayers of sinful people like me and you who are so undeserving. It's his very nature that draws us to him in prayer. His work is miraculous. It's not natural. It's supernatural. It's not ordinary. It's extraordinary. It's not human. It's divine. It's not limited, but infinite. That's what draws us to him in prayer. If you ask people who have faced tragedy or trial or heartbreak or grief or even loneliness and discouragement, Ask what happened in their souls when they finally fell to their knees and poured out their hearts to God. People have done that, have said these things to me like, you know, I felt a comfort and a peace I've never felt before. Or someone else said, I just can't explain it. But I sense that God understood me and he heard my prayer. Another one may have said, I felt surrounded by God's presence. Well, the truth is we are. The Apostle Paul knew that experience, and writing to the Philippians, Paul said in Philippians 4, 6, and 7, let me read it to you, he said, Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Now, I know this from experience, because I can remember calling out to God in prayer. I can remember calling out to God in prayer when one of our children was running from God and was headed in the wrong direction. I can remember calling out to God in prayer when my mother was battling cancer and given a very bleak and sobering report. I can remember calling out to God when Pam and I sensed, us, sensed God leading us to another ministry, and he, he led us here to Lakeview. Called out to God when my father was called to say that he had bone cancer. Called out to God when we, we faced a very difficult situation in ministry. And when Pam's dad was taken ill, faced his death. Called out to God when we worked through my mother-in-law's illness and death. It's times like this when it seems like we're at our end, when it seems to be the bleakest moment that God offers a reassurance. He offers comfort and courage and hope. It's that overwhelmingly, overpoweringly intimate moment that we recognize the coming together of our spirit with the sovereign God and we enjoy the benefits of a relationship established by prayer. Now, I still need to develop my prayer relationship with God the truth is, there are times, even when I'm doing my studies, that I'm, I, I know more about prayer than I practice sometimes. But there are times when you just have to get off the fact track, fast track, so to speak, long enough to find time to explore and enjoy that intimacy with God. And I'm now enjoying that, and I want to develop it even more. But for us to come to that point, we must do something very radical. Guess what that is? We must pray. And when you, get to, when you begin to pray for more than food 
And for more than, more than the big problems, of course, because we want to handle small ones on our own, when you and I begin to pray more, we enjoy the greatest thrill of having a qualitative relationship with God. Rather than being casually related to one another because you don't get together and talk very much, you can carry on a substantial, soul-searching conversation with God. Here's the truth. As you grow in prayer, God will reveal more of himself to you, breathing more of his life into your spirit. And when that happens, the most fulfilling and rewarding part of this experience with prayer won't be the answers to your prayers that, you that you're sure to receive. It will be the intimacy that you have with God that you never knew before. Fellowship with God, trust, confidence, peace, relief. These are yours as you learn how to pray and as you come together with God. Let's pray. Lord, thank you for reminding us through your word again and through life experience that you are not only a God of the word, but you are a God that keeps your word. You're a God of promise and you keep your promises. Thank you that you want to desire, you'd want as our heavenly father to have an intimate relationship with your children. And so, Father, the more that we look to you, the more that we come to you, the more that we pour out our heart to you, the more that we'll take time to listen to you and read your word, the more intimate our relationship with you becomes. Thank you so much for the great avenue of prayer. You are the one who said to call upon you. You're the one who said to ask and will receive. So, Lord, you told us not to be anxious through the servant Paul. You said, but by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, we should let our requests be made known to you. And the result of that is the peace that comes from you. It guards our hearts. It's through Christ. Thank you, Father. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen.